how much filler are we going to really use? So uh, that's a little bit of a tricky question because it is going to, what is the outcome we're looking for, but also kind of the person's anatomy. So those are kind of a couple of things that are going to. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about lip fillers and how much you should use. Uh, nowadays, there are a ton of different fillers out there. Most of the fillers we use uh, these days are hyaluronic acid fillers. Some of the more common brands include Restylane, RHA, and Juvederm, but that's just to name a few. There's a ton of them, and many of them work very well. Uh, some of the difference between fillers in general, one is how elastic it is, uh, but also how much volume it gives. The fillers that are more volumizing uh, tend to absorb more water. Uh, so in the lips, we're going to use fillers that are more elastic or less stiff so they don't absorb as much water. Uh, lip fillers are uh, considered very safe, uh, particularly when it's done by someone uh, that's trained and experienced doing lip fillers. Now that said, there are some potential uh, side effects. Most common would probably be bruising. Obviously, we're sticking a, a needle into your lips, so certainly there's a possibility you can have bruising, swelling for sure. And uh, swelling is uh, something else that is common. Getting lip fillers uh, generally just resolves um, over a few days. Certain rea allergic reaction is possible, very uncommon, and infection, again, that's... So what many providers will do is try to minimize these risk scores. One of those things is obviously we'll prep the area to minimize the risk of infection. Ice can be used after the procedure before to help minimize swelling. Also, the technique is going to be important to minimize swelling as well. Now, how much filler are we going to really use? That's a little bit of a tricky question because it is going to depend on one, what is the outcome we're looking for, but also kind of the person's anatomy. So those are kind of a couple of things that are going to play into it. For lips, we're going to generally start with somewhere between half cc. If we're doing just the upper lip, you may use a full cc, cc and a half. If we're going to do top and bottom lip, particularly for someone, this is the first time having lip filler, we don't want to put too much at once because it can cause uh, trauma and other complications. For most people, where average uh, CC is a, a fair amount to uh, start with. Now that said, it is not uncommon for us to add more filler later, more four weeks later when things have kind of settled and, and we can see how your lips are responded to filler. So this would be another opportunity to add a little more if that is higher. Uh, something else that people are commonly concerned about is pain. And yes, uh, you're sticking a on needle into someone's lips. You can imagine that could be painful. Now that said, uh, most fillers these days have lidocaine in them. So once you do inject them, there is a numbing effect. So it's not as painful as you would think. But also there's some other strategies strategies we can use to minimize that. One would be a vibration tool that can help essentially kind of distract the pain. Also, you could either do topical numbing aging. I find that's not as helpful, but that is another option. If you do a nerve block, you're, you're not going to have any uh, pain from the So how long do lip fillers last? So it's going to depend partly on the brand and also partly person's physiology. So in general, fillers can last anywhere from uh, 6 to 12 months. That would probably be the average. So there are a few things you can do to help the filler last longer. So probably the biggest thing is not smoking. Smoking will cause the uh, filler to break down faster. Another big thing you want to do is avoid sun. This is also something that is certainly known to increase how quickly you break down a hyaluronic acid. Well, that's the short and skinny of uh, how much lip filler you should use if it's your first time. If you found this helpful, please like it. If you want to learn more about other aesthetics procedures, check out one of these videos.